Is that Chris? Man, what is good, YouTube? Y'all already know who it is. It's your boy Jay here, man. I'm back here with another video, y'all. And today, man, we got a crazy and wild video to talk about. Now, it seems like in today's classroom, y'all, we got Boosie on the roster. Once again, y'all, we got Boosie on the roster again this week. It seems like Boosie went off on Twitter this morning after he had some things to say to Birdman, brother, Terrence Gangster Williams. Now, before we get into this crazy video, Y'all know my routine, man. Hit that like button, bro. You smash that notification bell so that you know you can't be notified anytime I drop a video. And I can just keep y'all updated on this whole situation in general, bro. Y'all got me? Alright. Bam. Now, basically, what we got going on. As I said, y'all, we got uh, Baton Rouge rapper Boosie on the roster. And he has some things to say about Birdman, Brother Terrence Gangsta Williams. Now, I know a lot of y'all like, why do you care about him talking about Birdman, brother. We know that Birdman is a known figure in hip hop, but who his brother is. But come to find out, y'all, um, if y'all don't know, Terrence Gangster, Terrence Gangster Williams, excuse me, was a known guy from back in the day, the Hot Boy days. You know, um, he was a quote unquote known gangster, but things went left, and a lot of people pulled his bluff when he got arrested for an M, and he pretty much um, testified against a guy that was deceased and put out a charge on him to get himself out of jail. And everybody had been calling him a snitch since. But um, ever since then, you know what I'm saying, um, Gangsta Wins has been trying to defend himself and pretty much trying to change the mindset of people. And honestly, I feel like, like I said in my last video, it don't matter. You know what I'm saying? He did. We're just going to dig him up, put him on trial. I don't think it's that big of a deal, but I'm not a street dude. Now, he tried to call Boosie a snitch at first. He put up this video, and it seems like Boosie was, I think he was suing the police department. Or something happened where he pretty much like um, had something against the police department, and yeah, he tried to make Boosie look like a snitch. Do you, would you still want uh, the DA uh, or uh, someone else to do an investigation in the police department about a bag all of a sudden showing up? Because, of, you know, taking up a million dollars with a jury, that's a serious felony. Yeah, it is. And uh, we're sending private investigators down there to get all our witnesses to, to uh, everybody who had all the officers. We're getting all the private investigators to go down there, build our case. Uh, this is a criminal case and a civil case. So uh, this is only the beginning, man. Now, right after that, man, he put up the caption, and the caption was, I understand the civil case, but do real steppers get a pass when they give statements on criminal cases? Is this the only time they can get on the stand and we, and it will be okay sending someone to jail? And that one, Boosie was, uh, I think he was like, I don't want to say testifying, but he was um, doing something with the police. Like I said, I don't know too much um, details about that situation, but he tried to call Boosie a snitch, and everybody was on his head like, nah, he reaching, he reaching, you just trying to have something to come back for and make yourself look good now boosie on the other end went in now um this had happened he had put that up like last week if i'm mistaken and boosie woke up this morning on bt boosie put up a picture against the Williams, a throwback picture that i always thought was freaky deaky and y'all know them new orleans dudes be kind of freaky like 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 fruity delicious anyway like not saying all new orleans dudes but you know like they kind of existed i would have their tongue out Birdman kissing Lil Wayne. it just be a whole bunch of freaky deaky stuff going on now this picture had went viral, and it's a picture of Gangster Williams when he was younger, which he was a gangster. And you see somebody in the club sitting down on the carpet with his knee up, which is very sassy. And then you got Gangster Williams with somebody sitting in his lap with his hand on his thigh. Now, right, Boosie put up the caption, and Boosie said, man, you a punk and a certified rat. You was in Yezu getting, you know what, and effing Iggers. Look at you in this pic, boy. You be. You make New Orleans look bad, LOL. And he followed it up and said, that boy can't wait to lead a club or the club and suck that. <laughs> look at him, he about to rub his D right now. Boy, you a, whoa, you know what I'm saying? He followed it up and said, New Orleans should ban this dude. This is the worst kind of igger. He a rat, a family snake, and a homo sapien, if you get what I'm saying. Playing gangster. Well, go on in the pen, don't stay in the pen no more, clown, LOL. And he followed up and said, these clowns will try anything to be boosty. Fake, fake gangster to the world how you was effing, you know what, in Yezu City and setting the CEOs up. Or how you set up them Crip Iggers out in New York up. You wearing wires, clown. And as y'all see, he pretty much went in on bro and said that, you know, uh, he a rat and said that he freaky. Now, listen, him by him being a rat, 
me personally, man, I don't really care too much about street stuff because when you die, none of that matter anyway. Y'all be out here applying the rules and trying to go by codes that literally ain't gonna get you nothing but a, a, a life sentence or death. You know what I'm saying? It's way more life to live out here than be in the streets, bro. I'll try on the side. But I know some people are putting certain situations in. Y'all know how they go. Now, the freaky deaky stuff he said, my bro, was like, you know what? I'm not saying he ain't, but I will say a lot of these gangsters, these big tough guys be the main one that be down low, especially with trannies. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, YouTube. Transgenders. I'm sorry. Because you know how YouTube get, man. They want to violate you. Um, transgenders. A lot of these DL dudes, these big gangster dudes be the ones that be with them in other way around. You know what I'm saying? So, that picture definitely sucks. I don't care how you try to look at it. Uh, I'm not with the freaky deaky. I'm not letting no dudes sit in my lap while I grab and stop. I don't care what nobody say. But at the end of the day, maybe that's how they show love in New Orleans. That was they're very freaky. I'm just going to be honest. Like, it was freaky. Like, it is what it is. That was some freaky dicky shit right there. But at the end of the day, bro, these are grown, man. These dudes are over 30. And they arguing like little kids, man. And it just, every day it shows me, man. Uh, <laughs> we living near the end times, bro. But y'all give me y'all thoughts and opinions about this in the comment section. And let me know what y'all think about it. And let me know, do y'all feel like Boosie got a point? Do y'all feel like um, Boosie telling um, based off what? Gangsta Williams put up. Y'all feel like this whole situation is just childish. Give me y'all thoughts and opinion. It's your boy Look is Jay. Thank God for another day. Y'all be safe. I love y'all. Christ loves y'all more, man. <laughs> and yeah, bro.